Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well yesterday we created these sort of icon to pop up text right here. We've got a similar one today. Uh, it's the one down below. We've got a little image with a title there. When you hover over the image, it's going to roll up into a call to action module. Those are some great little things to have on your site. Very popular at the moment. Really easy to do. We're not using any extra plugins. We are going to write one tiny little bit of CSS. But don't let that put you off. Any code that I write, I'll put below the video and you're welcome to use it if you wish. So let's get started. I'm going to enable the Visual Builder. And let's go down to where we want to work. I may as well start right here. I'm going to add another row, a little green button there. I'm going to use three columns. Use whatever works for you, obviously, and you'll have to adjust accordingly. And in my first column here, I'm going to put a call to action module. So there it is. And you may notice there's no button on there and that won't show up until we put a link in. So obviously put your title in up here. Put what your button wants to say here and your content down below. I'm going to cut a bit of that content. It's a bit more than I particularly want. OK, well, let's make that button appear. So just below the content there, we've got the link tab and you can put your button link in right there. As soon as I put something in there, you'll see it appear, which is great. If you want the whole module to link somewhere, you can put another link in right there. Best practice, as always, if you're linking to your own site, keep it in the same window. If not, put it in a new tab so your site stays open. And you can style your button in the design tab. We'll cover that a little later on. OK, as with most sort of text to image or image to text effects, the way this is going to work, we've got our little call to action module here. And the image that we're going to see initially is going to reside in the column that this is sitting in. So let's put an image back there and do what we need to do to our column next. I'm going to leave that just as it is. I'm going to go back into the row. I'm going to go into my first column right here. Now I'm going to put a background image in and you won't see it because we've already got a background on our module right there. But this one like I say you can't see anything because it's behind that but now I'm actually going to make this column a fixed height that way we can move our call to action module how we wish and we'll still see that image so to do that still in the column I'm going to go over to the advanced down to custom CSS in the main element I'm going to give it a fixed height so I'm going to say height 300 picks and you can see that bit of image pops out from below the module there great let's put a semicolon on the end of there okay I just want to add a little bit more padding to this and perhaps give it a nicer background color so it covers all that then we need to push it down so we only see the title and because we're going to push it down right down here we don't want to see anything that spills out the bottom of the column here to ensure that doesn't happen, let's close up the custom CSS. We're still in our column in the advanced. Go down to visibility. And we're going to turn the horizontal and vertical overflow off or to hidden. It'll still be there. You just won't see it. Great. And if you're not sure why we're doing this, it'll become clear in a moment. OK, well, let's save our column settings. That should be good to go there. We'll save our row settings. Actually, while I'm in the row, I'm going to give it a bit more padding at the top there. So there's a bit more white space. I like most settings with the div. You just put in the number. It'll put in the pics for you. That's great. OK, right. Well, let's go into our little module and do a bit of adjustment. I'm going to go in there and let's see. I'm going to go over to my design tab. When we're not hovering over it, I just want to see the title and no background. So let's go down to spacing. And I'm going to give it a margin on the top. I know that's 300 deep to the bottom of there. So let's, let's try 200 and see where that gets us. That's OK. Let's do with another 20 or 30. Let's try 230. 
that's all right i want to take this padding away so really when they come over the title itself it's going to pop up and i want a little bit more space on the bottom there so what i'm going to do is make sure there's no padding on the top there we go now we can push it down a little bit more yeah i think that's going to work never mind the color there because we don't want any color at all until we hover over it okay and common to most divi modules if you hover over the dark riding some icons will appear so we can change settings when we hover over it which is what we need to do here so when we're not hovering we want those settings so it's down the bottom there minus the background when we are hovering over it don't want any margin at the top so it's back to the top I want to give it padding top and bottom so it covers the image totally so let's get our little boxes up desktop state is great hover state I want try putting 50 top and bottom I'm going to hit the chain it'll do the opposite side that's not going to be enough let's do 70 yep that works fantastic okay and let's find a better color for that remember we're on the hover state at the moment we'll go back to our content to background and again I'm going to go up I'm going to hit the little arrow to get our desktop and hover states up desktop don't want any background at all and when we hover over it let's put a purple color in there that's fine and if you want to see some of the image through it you can just click on the color and bring the opacity down the more you bring it down the more the image you'll be able to see through but I'm going to have this solid just like that so we've got this when we're not hovering over it and we've got this when we are hovering over it we're about done the only other thing if you want to custom design that button there go over to your design tab and down to button you can flip the little button on that says use custom styles and you can decorate it and style it any way you wish there the only other thing i want to do is just slow that down slightly because the default for it changing between those hover and non-hover is 300 milliseconds with divi and i like to slow it down for a bit of drama so let's do that i'm going over to the advanced tab in our call to action down to transitions and there's the default 300 i'm going to take mine up to about 750 mils or so and i'm going to use ease in and ease out for my speed curve there it seems to work great so if we've done everything correctly this should now work for us let's save it save our page changes save draft or publish if you're ready and let's exit the visual builder roll on down there's our image with the title when i hover over it's going to slide on up and the color's going to come in and they can click on the button and you can take them where you want to take them with your link and that's like i say a nice little effect to have on your site these are very popular and somebody's mousing around and that happens it's going to get their attention which is what you wanted with a website so i hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful if you have please give it a thumbs up ring the bell comment share and subscribe to our youtube channel once again this has been jamie from system 22 and webdesignertechtips.com thanks for watching have a great day